uh, with the Raiders. What? What? Oh, um, g g I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, Fangirl was freed and left for Tevinter. Yep. Nope. Possessed. Yikes. Nope, he is alive. What? Oh, wait, why? Hold on a second. Why is this messing with that? I did. I did find out who was doing it, didn't I? It, yeah, it was Brecker, and I had to deal with it. Oh, the f what? The fact that I like locked it in was like the problem or something. That's weird. That is odd. Um, let me know about that, you guys, if that's, if there's something weird there. Hawk refused to aid the Templar plan. Oh, right, Varnell. I, wait, no. Varnell received Hawk's support. No, we didn't. Hawk refused to aid the Templar plan to accept their fragile peace. Didn't I? Shoot, I can't remember. I changed it a couple times. No, I didn't have... No, we didn't fight side by side against the Kunari prisoners, so... I did not side with Patrice. No. Um. I guess... Odd. Is the... Are the ones... Are, does, does, like, the color at the bottom matter? No? Or does it, like show where there's like connection doesn't look like it I don't know why I'd like why some of these are like dark and why some of them are gray you know Javaris I've been framed for the threat no nah. oh held him responsible really no yeah no that wasn't a big deal uh I killed the air shock what's the other option whoa what Oh, I get if you had handed Isabella over. I he was a mighty foe and I ran around in circles and it was it was a glorious fight running around in circles. Um Let's see. So that's a little weird. We didn't encounter Lieutenant, didn't encounter Yaven. That's odd. I thought I did most of the stuff in Act Two. But I mean, this is, these are the only thing, Act 2 was like the biggest one, like the longest, I think. Maybe, or maybe not, maybe it was just middle. Odd. Okay. Well, what is the, what, what about like when you like, with your mom? Like, you know? That's not like in this at all, like it's not gonna feature... Okay. Nuncio. Uh. Oh, I did. But I. Nuncio did not seek Hawk out. I guess if, he, if Zevran is not alive, I don't know. Um. I did offer to help Nuncio. I did find Zevran. I let Zevran go. What? He returned the favor by supporting the champ? No, he didn't. He just helped me with his thing and then left. I never saw him again. Uh, but I didn't hand him over to the crows. I wonder if that glitched out. That sucks.
Man. I did encounter Nathaniel. I rescued Nathaniel. Um. Shira. I did. Oh. Return the gem. Or didn't help him. Nope, I did. Wonder why her name is like Charade. Charade. Um, handed the conspirators to Orsino? What? What conspirators? Could I have taken it, like, the whole thing to... Well, the thing is, is Meredith got involved. Any... Well, uh, Cullen got involved because Samson brought him. Ooh, this one's confusing. Um, I'm gonna choose that one because it was for Orsino, right? Let me... A group of mates? Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure that it was Orsino. I don't know. Let me know on that one, too. Orsino Mage Conspirators. Ah! Mouse. Um. This was important. I returned email to the circle. Perhaps a bit more world. Yeah. No, well, I mean, we, we sent him back to the circle, but it wasn't bad. I don't know. Um. We sided with the mages. I uh, I sided with the mages. That was that was pretty important. Um I'll let Kieran we did let Kieran go. Uh oh, we're Kieran ran under night cap and promised to keep it very close. What that wasn't in Act Three, that was in Act like two. And this so this isn't talking about when we do the blood mage thing. That was an act two, wasn't it? I guess I won't lock it in, but yeah, we gave him back to the Templars and it we already talked about that in Act Two. Like it was already a thing in Act Two that, that was that, that was a thing. I did kill the dragon, heck yeah, because I got the champion armor. Woohoo. Okay, was that it? Or Yeah. Okay. Well, interesting um i think that's everything i guess i can up i'll have to get pictures i don't i don't use this computer like at all as you can probably see down here on this bar i just use it to play games i have my laptop to do other things with um don't want to clutter this one up but i'll have to maybe try to download or send myself some a picture or two of of the of my heroes let's double check uh So, yeah, it's just from my computer. Oh, yeah, from my computer. Duh. Okay. Well, that's my tapestry. Cool. Wow. Um, huh. Advisors? What? Why are these hidden? I was like advisor quests or something. Here, hidden. What? I don't understand. Why is all this hidden to me? Maybe can you not like actually do anything with this yet, or um, like is that going to be for like eventually when you are able to upload this to Dragon Age Four, whatever that's going to be. Okay, so now what? Does that is it saved? Um, I hope it's saved. What is that? Messages, whatever, whatever, whatever. Play, play, share, randomize, unlocked. Oh. Can I change the name of my default world state? My world state. I want to change it. 
My world's it. What is play? Computer's like, oh no, I don't know what you want from me. If you believe oh my gosh. the stories, mankind's pride gave rise to the dark spawn. Countless in number and toxic to all life, dark spawn search endlessly for an arch demon. When they find one, dark spawn armies surge up from their corrupt barrows beneath the ground, and a blight begins. Grey Wardens are the only warriors capable of destroying an Archdemon, and history always honors the one who sacrifices all to kill the beast. In the Fifth Blight, the Warden was the hero of Ferelden. Cool, this is cool. A mage living in the Circle Tower at Lake Kalanad. Drawn into an escape plot by another mage, the hero became snared in the Circle's dangerous politics. Ooh. Duncan, a Grey Warden, helped the mage escape to a new life as a warden. The allied Ferelden and Grey Warden forces met in Ostagar, where King Kaelin's armies and a host of Wardens gathered, ready to destroy the Darkspawn. But Valor turned to despair as Loghain betrayed his king. Kaelin's forces were slaughtered, and the South was lost. The hero, now a full-fledged Grey Warden, survived with the aid of Flemeth, the mysterious Witch of the Wilds. Joined by Flemeth's daughter, Morrigan, and a Grey Warden named Alistair, the hero set out to build an army strong enough to abolish the Blight. I didn't realize it was going to tell me a story. With the traitorous Loghain now oh, seated okay. on Ferelden's throne, the Warden sought help from the influential Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. However, they arrived in Redcliffe to find the town under siege. As each night, You can edit your choice here, okay. the battered village. How long is this going to be? With the hero's video? help, the people of Redcliffe stood fast against the undead horde. We did. The wardens reached Arl Eamon's castle only to find the Arl lying at the edge of death. I love that it's Varric narrating. His court fallen into madness. To save his father's life, Eamon's young son, Connor, had made a deal with a demon and quickly fallen victim to its possession. The hero and to creepily like Fleming. Freeing Connor from possession and breaking the demon's hold over Redcliffe. But deals with demons are never straightforward. Mm. The demon agreed only to save Eamon's life, not restore him to health. Oh, Arl Eamon freaking... needed a miracle to recover. That's basically the same thing, demon. The hero located an urn containing the sacred ashes of Andraste, which were said to cure any ailment. I wonder how that, like, how that works The urn exactly. was protected by ancient traps, tests of will, and a dragon-worshipping cult that wanted to twist the urn's power to its own ends. The urn remained pure, but mysteriously disappeared after the wardens departed. Did Only it? the temple dedicated to it still stands. I thought With Liliana and ashes, Genitivi were going to go study the hero it. restored the Arl to health. Informed of Loghain's treachery, Eamon swore his political and military support. The circles of Magi are bound by oath to aid the Grey Wardens in times of blight. However, Lake Kalanad's tower could offer little help. One of its mages, Aldred, had become possessed. Didn't we have by to go to the tower to get help? And was twisting to get, other to save Eamon? Into abominations. Like that was the reason we the went hero to the tower fought first. To the top of the tower and defeated Aldred, saving the remaining mages. Grateful for their lives, the mages joined the Warden's army. Does it matter which what, what order I edit these in or whatever? The soldiers to join the warden's forces, however. Dalish elves don't usually make alliances, but even deep hatred can be set aside in the face of oblivion. An ancient curse was destroyed for Elden's largest Dalish clans. I think that's uh werewolves. That's his Zathrium, That's his Dalish mark. Zathrian. Claim that the cure required the heart of the that's great Zathrian's wolf. Years Not before, <laughs> Zathrain himself had afflicted a group of humans with the curse that now ravaged his clan. As long as he lived, the curse endured. The hero freed the werewolves from the long-standing curse, and the Dalis joined the Warden's forces. Blights may happen hundreds of years apart, but the dwarves who live below the surface of Thedas fight Darkspawn every day. 
No one is better schooled in battling Darkspawn than the warriors of Orzammar. Except perhaps their allies of old, the Grey Wardens. I don't know, I think the dwarves are better suited to it, like they've just been doing it forever. It's in their blood. To find political factions fighting for control of the dwarven capital. Uh, Only the vote of a venerated Grey Wardens are great warriors, but they're not trained from rule. birth practically to fight Darkspawn. And the dwarves to honor their Grey Warden treaty and join the battle against the new blight. The hero set off to find a paragon named Branca, who had disappeared into the deep roads in search of a legendary artifact. The so, Anvil of the Void, created do you not by get an option Caradon, to forge mighty for war the Golems of Amgarak and Liliana's song? The hero helped Caradon destroy the Anvil of the Void, along with the it, dark secrets I think that it just, it just gave you basically most of the DLC, construct. and you could just say you didn't have any of them, the hero you know? Emerged from the deep but it didn't give me an option for crown to bestow the, Paragon's favor upon the Golems of Amgarak or Liliana's song. King. Balin. The youngest son of King Andrin, who was suspected of foul play, or Haramont, the aging traditionalist backed by the dwarven. Balin really is a brat. Balin the they need to be progressive. The, the dwarves need to he be leads progressive. With a ruthless but, but progressive hand, seeking to reestablish ties. But to his the methods are cool. With dwarven strength now bolstering the world. I don't know how well that's going to play out. The hero it makes had a difference. to deal with Logain, so Ferelden could stand unified against the dark spawn. Before the blight swallowed the world. The kingdom of Ferelden stood divided. While some nobles supported Loghain's regency, others condemned his inaction against the Darkspawn. A tragic figure Civil he is. Wars ruled, and Arl Eamon called a landsmaid in hopes of curtailing the conflict and removing Loghain from I the I wonder throne. how this game would go if you just like Alistair didn't get... Alistair ended Loghain's life uh... in the name of justice for the wardens who died at Ostagar. As the Warden's united army massed, I really Redcliffe, shouldn't have let Alistair do it either, like just for his sake. Enderim, laying siege to Ferelden's capital city. The hero's army fought valiantly through Denerim and broke the Darkspawn siege. Like, how hard would this game be if you, like, Fort didn't get Fort highest tower, the like hero's a bunch strongest of your companions allies fought alongside the Warden and in a final heroic battle against like the, the allies of the game, you know? The Archdemon was killed. Without Woo! the sacrifice of a Grey Warden's life. But a. With no Archdemon to lead God, them, baby. the Darkspawn scattered. Most I don't know how well that's gonna play. Still teeming in numbers. You'd think that would be a huge plot point. So I have no idea how that's gonna play into future games or not. You'd think Kieran. I think his name's Kieran or something? That would be. Nora Matir, daughter a huge. Deal. Assumed the throne of Ferelden after the Fifth Blight was ended. Like that would affect a game as completely, I would think. As the dog lords ever are. The dog lords. The events lords. of the fifth blight loom over it as the nation rebuilds. For people across Thetis, legends of the hero of Ferelden remain the nation's oh, brightest tell you beacons anything of hope about Zebran, though. during its darkest times. It all began in Kirkwall, the fall of Knight Commander Meredith, the Kunari uprising, and of course. The Chantry's destruction and the onset of Mage Rebellion. One person always stood amidst the swirling chaos. Hawk, the champion of Kirkwall. The Hawk family fled Lothering, refugees from the Blight. Leandra, mother of the champion and siblings Bethany and Carver, hoped to find refuge at her family's estate in Kirkwall, far to the north. While Hawk had no magical abilities, the Aha. champion was at the heart of events that ultimately led to the Mage Rebellion. The Hawks escaped the Blight with the help of Aveline Valen, a warrior yeah. and family friend. It's said she that the family, family was also aided by Flemeth, the notorious yes. Witch of the Wilds. Hawk's brother, Carver, never reached the Free Marches. He was killed by Darkspawn while protecting his family. The family's first years in Kirkwall were difficult. Leandra's brother Gamlin had lost the family fortune. The Hawks lived in poverty, forced to indenture themselves in return for entrance to the city. To pay off the debt, Hawk was forced to work for a gang of smugglers. 
All the while, Hawk and Bethany did their best to hide Bethany's magic from the Templars. Indeed. Opportunity eventually struck in the form of a dwarf named Bartrand Tethras, who was planning an expedition to the Deep Roads. It was a long shot, but with gold gained from the expedition, Hawk could free the family from its criminal creditors and further Templar scrutiny. Hawk met a rogue Grey Warden named Anders, who Anders. possessed detailed maps of the Deep Roads. These maps were crucial to the expedition's okay, success. Okay, so that's playing a big deal. Once Hawk obtained them, everything else fell quickly into place. So you place. have to get Anders, otherwise Bethany the game will progress. Bethany joined Hawk on the expedition. Hey. The siblings found ancient dwarven treasure and a statuette formed from a strange red lyrium. Bethany fell victim to the blight that suffuses the Deep Roads. But Anders led her to a group of Grey Wardens who were able to if save her life. If nothing else in the world, we have to remember that Anders the saved gold Bethany. Hawk recovered from and the deep we road owe him that. back Leandra's stately childhood home in Hightown. The Hawks had barely settled into their new home yeah. when Leandra was murdered. A deeply sinister and twisted killing. Couldn't Hawk hunted murdered, down no. Quentin, the blood mage responsible, but could not prevent Leandra's death. Leandra's tragic death was part of a critical problem facing Kirkwall. Rising tension between the city's mages, who felt increasingly oppressed, and Templars, who grew increasingly suspicious of their activities. Adding to the strain, a large contingent of Kunari had also ah, established themselves in Kirkwall. That did not help matters, but I think even without that, things would have come rulers. to a head. After their dreadnought was shipwrecked many years before, a group of stranded Kunari were allowed to remain in a cordoned off area in Lowtown. As time passed, the Kunari made no effort I to return home. I think I should also be able to no explanation say that I got remained. the air shock's respect. Tensions rose you know? to a breaking point. Revered Mother Patrice, convinced the Kunari were a threat to the Chantry's faith, incited violence between the that Kunari and the That just means she's insecure in the Chantry's position. Hawk knew that like, Patrice deep down. would bring about unnecessary conflict. Though the champion tried to stop her, Patrice orchestrated the murder of Seamus Dumar, a Viscount's son and a recent convert to the Cune. When her crime was discovered, a Kunari assassin killed her. After Seamus like, was yeah. murdered, the Arashak of the Kunari group lost patience with the humans of Kirkwall. They would now submit to the Kune or die. The Kunari struck hard and fast. They took the palace in Hightown and beheaded the Viscount to immediately quash any resistance. Aided by Knight Commander Meredith and First Enchanter Orsino, they were an impressive Hawk force the when they were allied together. And stood toe to toe with the fearsome Kunari leader. Hawk fought the Kunari leader. The fierce battle resulted in the Arashok's death and the liberation of Kirkwall from its brief occupation. The Kunari quickly withdrew from the city entirely. His story is actually pretty interesting in Hawk the war Hawk saved books. Kirkwall and earned the I grudging think, respect of the, the city's right Templars, mages, and nobility. Along with the title... So yeah, it was a grudgingly took title. I did, it. I did the fight Kirkwall. to save Isabella. I didn't do it to save Kirkwall's the city. Kirkwall's problems were still not over, however. After Viscount Dumar's death, Knight Commander Meredith took power and blocked all attempts to appoint a new Viscount. Under there were Meredith's many. command, the Templars tightened their grip on the mages, planning to suppress what Meredith saw as a growing rebellion. Anders, who spent years Anders. fighting for justice and freedom for his fellow mages, saw that the time for negotiation was past. He destroyed Kirkwall's chantry, killing hundreds including Grand Cleric Elthina. This single act began a rebellion that spread from circle to circle until all circles of Magi had risen up in defiance again. Let me... Oh, okay. ...against Chantry rule. Though Anders had done the unforgivable, something stayed the champion's hand. Anders survived the day, although many others did not. Fighting spread swiftly through the city. I did. I just kind of looked up while it was going what you're approving, like that, but what it meant between like approving of Anders' actions or not. And I think somebody said that, um, um, if you have full friendship, you get the star option where Hawk says something like, I would have maybe understood if you'd only told me. Um, but um, 
another person who says that they think it refers to the star option. So I think I'm going to have to go back and say, not have to, but I might go back and say that I, because it, there wasn't the really, it didn't make sense. Like, you didn't, many of them succumbing to possession. there was, there Templars weren't many options for Hawk to be like, yeah, I approve, you know, not, or I, as first Enchanter Orsino I guess you could get angry, to but. Bend to the Templars, Knight Commander Meredith demanded that every mage in Kirkwall be put to the sword. Hawk that was so excessive. Hawk from Templar Blades keeping them from succumbing to possession or the temptations of blood magic. In the end, however, Hawk was forced to strike down Orsino, who had betrayed his own values by resorting to blood that magic That was himself. really weird, and somebody in the comments did say that the writers maybe thing. didn't want that, Night but that Meredith the like, other the, like, programmers the or whatever wanted another Meredith battle. Sword, because that battle was felt very thrown in roads, and token. Was embedded within it. I the think blade it's weird fueled that you her have hatred to do that. and paranoia as it had for months. After and the battle a felt battle, very weird. The red this, of the especially Night compared to Meredith's battle, which was awesome. Died. Meredith became a statue. Her face a frozen mask of horror. Little is known of the That's champions not a very effeminate picture. However, Hawk's story lives on in legend and song. Liliana Memories and of the indelible changes. The champion of Kirkwall Inquisition. brought to the face of Thetis. The Mage Rebellion in Kirkwall was felt throughout Thetis. Ooh, what's this? The news spreading like wildfire. The Templars clamped down in response, but oh, each new restriction only made things worse. Inquisition? Led by Grand Enchanter Fiona, the Mages voted for independence. The Circle of Magi would govern itself without the Chantry and especially it's not Templars. really saying anything. The result was cataclysmic. Two circles were destroyed. Those within killed to the last mage, before the rest fled into the wilderness. Perhaps the mighty empire of Orlay could have intervened in the war before it began, but that was not to be. Grand Duke Gaspard began a deadly civil war against Empress Selene. Fine. That was a really good book, by the way. I would suggest reading it. The mages it. were offered safe haven in neighboring Ferelden, but the Templars followed, and so their battles spread across all of Thetis. As head of the Chantry, Divine Justinia ordered the Templars to stand down. They refused, declaring See, that's their the own thing. independence. The Chantry leaders Thus, do have a point. Like, they can't earth. force Templars these things, you know? Mages. They, they were trying to meant made the Templars, like, separate and, and all have no oversight, you know? Divine Justinia made one final desperate bid to end the war. She approached the leaders of both sides and convinced them to come to a conclave held on neutral ground. With the Chantry to mediate, mages and Templars will talk for the first time since this all began. It is our last and perhaps our only chance for peace. Oh, okay. So that was just like kind of giving you like what was going to happen. Me. No. I want to change the name for it. Oh well. Um World States. Eh. Okay. Yay. Um What should we call it? Maybe Erica's. Well, it's not Erica. It's Durthara and Lady for Erica. Erica's Inquisition. Okay. Um, well, maybe do, uh, playing Origins and Dragon Age 2 for the first time. Okay. Okie dokie. 
So I'll have to maybe look up, especially for Durthar, I'll have to maybe look up a picture or something. Um, interesting. That was really cool. This is loaded in the keep. Okay, so you can only have one in there at a time. Or you can have three, three maybe. Oh, let's, um, really quick on two. Let's change, because apparently I, oh wait, is that in the companions? I mean, let me know what you guys think. I didn't back his actions, but I think such things were probably inevitable. Um, but let me let me know what you guys think, because I think it doesn't affect the fact that you can keep Anders alive. It looks like you know, but because that that's written in stone. Um, did it save? I don't know how to save. I did recruit Sebastian, but he got angry. Interesting. All right, I really like that. Like, this is really cool. Let's see. Can I? Can I like look at the whole thing? Oh wait, let's let's see if we can um. Print your entire Dragon Age Keep tapestry or just one section. What? Oh look, see, like look at this. It like it shows these options here. I should be able to mess with Inquisition. Why is this hidden? Hidden, 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 hidden. Why is it hidden? It doesn't make any sense. Inquisitor. Do I have to click? Why is that hidden? <laughs> doesn't make sense. Oh, do I have to click on Inquisitor maybe? Or on Erica? No. We're fine. Do I have to do something with advisors? But everything was hidden except Samson was the Inquisitor's nemesis, I guess. Wait, no. Alright, well I may have to mess with that one at a later date. Um, but yeah. Cool. This is really cool, I like it. I was having trouble getting into it, but I'm glad I was able to kind of get into it. It wasn't letting me... Get in for a while. So like it was like error message and I was like, no. <laughs> but um anyway, thank you guys. Thank you guys for joining me on this one. I hope I hope you enjoyed it. Uh let's let's just kind of look at oh no, we would want to just get like these two, you know. But here we go. I wonder. I wonder why this is I mean you, you look you can see the pictures here, but you can't see them elsewhere. Um yeah, I'm really excited to play this world state. I'll have to try exporting it to my game and everything. Um, but it's going to be cool. I actually just realized, I just thought that you can send this to the PC, right? Yes. Uh... Wait, no, okay, I'll mess with that later. I think it should, it should be fine. Um, I think there was no way to transfer in stuff from, like, PC to PC, but you can, like, from one PC to a different PC. I can't remember looking that up. I was seeing something about that a while ago. But, um, yeah, anyway, thank you guys for joining me. If you have any, um, if you have any tips on the things, I've written some of the things down, let me know what you guys think. Um, again, if you want... Uh, let me know what of the couple games I suggested that would be kind of fun to live stream or what, what games you think would be fun to live stream. Um, let me know if you think I should play The Witcher next or if there's a, if I should play like a second season of Origins or something. Or if you have any other ideas, let me know and I'll, I'll keep track. Um, right now I do really, I haven't wanted to play Witcher 3 for a long time and I do really want to play Origins a second time. But um, 
I will I will write them down if nothing else. I know at some point I'd like to maybe play Assassin's Creed at some point. I love I have like all the games, all the good ones, <laughs> all the way up to all the way up to Black Flag, and then I have Rogue too, but nothing past that. Um, but yeah, just let me know. I appreciate all your guys' support and the fun times, and I'm looking forward to more fun times. I hope. I know my upload schedule has been a little bit sporadic with uh, Mass Effect 2 and the second season of Dragon Age Inquisition, but I haven't forgotten them. I'm keep they're they're I'm gonna try to spend the next little bit making them a little more regular. I might have to spend I have to leave tomorrow for work, but I'm like I also need to play some Dragon Age Inquisition because I don't have that saved up. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys again. I honestly appreciate it more than I can say that all the fun and help and everything that you guys have done and. So I'm glad we're having a good time. It's been good. So uh, thank you again. I will see you next time.